What scams are obvious to you that others seem unaware of? Why are people so surprised to hear that social media platforms are collecting our information? Isn't that the whole point of them? It's like not realizing that TV and radio are to deliver audiences to advertisers. MLMs the minute I hear you have to recruit your friends and family to work in your business, I know it's a MLM scam. Timeshares. I can't understand how people still fall for this. They don't even know what they are buying. My parents got snookered into a contract. Luckily for us in New York they are required to give you 30 days to back out. And I convinced them to do so. Worked on HVAC systems in the military. Most of your HVAC refrigerant runs in a closed system. Meaning it should have the same level of refrigerant now as it did the day it was installed. Your system doesn't use refrigerant like a car uses gasoline. In 90 plus percent of all domestic HVAC systems, there's never a reason to top off the refrigerant as the sole solution to a problem. If you're low on refrigerant, that means there's a leak somewhere. Your HVAC tech knows this. If they're topping you off or recharging the system without searching for the leak, they're counting on all the new refrigerant leaking out so they can charge you to fill you up again. Edit. The scam is that they're charging you to come out. They're charging you for their time. And for any refrigerant put into your system. Dot, but they're not fixing what's broken. When they pump new refrigerant into the system, you'll have some immediate relief and it'll last just long enough for you to forget about the issue. And then they'll come back out and milk you for another 1k 1.5k. Wash, rinse, repeat. People asking for gas money with a car nowhere in sight. Clearly they're fueling up their invisible jet. Wonder Woman style. 95% of finance influencer content. The calls telling you that your business is eligible for a refund. I don't have a business. The car warranty calls. We had three vehicles all over 10 years old so when I got my very first call, I asked, which car? Your car with the expired warranty. I says which one they all have an expired warranty. After we went round a few more times I figured out they have no idea what kind of car I had so it's a scam. Work parties where you're asked to spend money on someone who's always an asshole but they're having a baby or you're the asshole. You can pay your less than IRS fine, overdue court fee, mystery utility bill by buying iTunes gift cards and sending me the numbers. FFS. Anybody who falls for this should have their internet access cut off. Air duct cleaning on Facebook. Gambling someone's making a profit and it's certainly not you. Romance scams like how weird that you think women would throw themselves at me or that I would be attracted to people with comically large breasts. I grew up in the Philippines. So my environment made me aware of a lot of scams by default. The most obvious one a lot of tourists don't know is when a total strangers befriends you out of nowhere. This may seem like a gesture of kindness or friendliness. But what they're doing is psychologically enticing you to buy something from them. If not buy, then donate to a cause. It involves a lot of talking which then turns to harassment and sometimes causes a bit of mobbing sometimes the scammer would scream for help even though you didn't do anything to make you feel stressed about unwanted attention on rare occasions the cry for help is part of the script and their friends who may sometimes be pretending to be cops security come out of the woodwork and join in on the harassment the victim is then forced to cough up money to get the people off their back. I'm not aware how common the mobbing and cry for help parts are. But I'm sure the psychological and verbal harassment is everywhere.
This scam is easily avoidable. Just ignore everyone you're not supposed to talk to. Diamonds. Gigantically overpriced. A scam. Think your diamond ring is worth a lot because you paid a lot? Try selling it. Mega churches. Social media quizzes, where they want you to input stuff like first job, your elementary school etc. That boyfriend or girlfriend in Nigeria needing money. My brother is always sending money to his imaginary girlfriend of the past 10 years or more. Companies that try and say, we like to think of ourselves as a family here. It's always a sign that they will use and abuse the heck out of you. Ink cartridges for printers. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.